Yeah, I don't think it pops up with like a little card on the top saying like Route 24 or something like that. So that's why I'm a bit confused. Okay. Nope. Uh, Surf 4, let's go surfing, please. Thank you. Yeah, so if you try and. So even if you get surf, if you try and go to this area, you actually can't go in. I'm thinking it's somewhere over here. Item. Do you just like... Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, Please tell me it's in here. Oh, thank you. It is. Okay, so we, so we already had it. <laughs> I wish I would have known that. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Thunder Wave. All right. So I've done it a long time ago. I probably went, ooh, Thunder Wave. I'll probably never use it. Yeah, so to get Thunder Wave... ...is actually up here. Uh, and in this little thing over here, there should be a Pokeball, and that's where you get Thunder Wave. So we're ready for that. Uh, we're gonna go back down. Oh, Thunder Wave, oh, that's fine. And we're gonna go use Surfboard. Inside the cave, and I'm gonna activate my. I'm gonna put on the repel. Hooray! Okay, we're gonna try a few times. That's a way I'd never thought was actually good. Is there anything over here? There's an item over here. I can actually get the item. Got a power point up. Oh, there's no PP max, but I think there's a PP up. I got no more room for items, that's fine. You can 
easily just toss something away. What is he, what are you? Submission? Yeah, we will never use submission, so toss. <laughs> So there's something else I wanted to mention as well, right before we go into those kinds of games. Uh, when we redo, uh, I think it's Pokemon, uh, Fire Red, Blue Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Uh, when I redo those games, uh, like I'll do one legitimately, and then the next one, I'm still going to do it legitimately, but we're going to have it so that I can get every, like I'll have the TMs and HMs, not HMs, but the TMs as maxed as possible just to kind of represent, like, Gen 5 kind of thing. It's nothing too game-breaking. Just that any time I use a TM, it's not like it's gone forever. But I'm going to put a little twist on it. If I get a TM, and I don't use it during that session, after the session, we will have it maxed out. So if I desperately need, let's say, there's a TM for Ice Beam that we got a hold of and I need to desperately use it, uh, either I can either end the session early or kind of like pan down the runtime and risk that, or use the TM and never use it again. I think that one is probably where I would probably end up doing. I think that that would be much more interesting. Because it's like, oh, is he going to use it? Because he desperately needs it. Something I can't use. Thank you, game. So I read that uh, even if you use Pokeballs, if you try to paralyze the other Pokemon, it should improve the capture rate enough so that you can actually capture it with a Pokeball. So we're going to put that to the test. I've just been getting lucky and I've just been getting it. No! Why? Uh, Super Pearl, please. Again, something I can't use. Maybe something I can use, like a full restore or something. So if you don't know, one of the many challenges that I usually like to do is that I can only capture Pokemon and Pokeballs. It makes it much more rewarding. Especially in games you can't speed up. <laughs> makes it much more... Uh, memorable because it's like oh my god this thing took me like 80 pokeballs and then somebody's like dude why did you just use ultra balls it's like you do realize that pokeballs is much better for the price especially if you have defensive pokemon it's much easier just to use the uh pokeballs all right let's go uh we need to move zappy to the front because zappy has thunder wave Alright, Mewtwo, we're going to challenge you right after I say it. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Very intimidating. Alright, Zappy. Thunder Wave. Cool, bro. There we go. Paralyzed. And I'm gonna use Thunder, not like it's gonna do much better. Yay! Drill pack. Because why not? Yay! That is so much damage! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with Dragon. And then we're gonna go and use Pokeballs. I'm just gonna keep chucking them. At some point, it's gotta do something. There we go! 
so just because it says you missed the Pokemon doesn't actually mean you missed the Pokemon. It's it's just a different text saying like, oh, I'd appear to be caught, or oh, shoot, it broke out of the Pokeball, or whatever. So there we go. We got Mewtwo legitimately. Inside of a Pokeball. Give it a nickname. Sure, we're gonna call it... I have an idea of what I'm going to name it. Uh, where is the letter? There it is. Don't know why I can find it. You duoks. There you go. That sounds like a cool name. Transfer to box one. There we go, we conned every legendary Pokemon. Eh? Oh, I never used the Pokemon Center again. That's right, okay. Uh, I think it's much easier to go into Victory Road through the last area, so let's go and fly over to... There we go, keep it back What a weird flying mechanic, anyway. Pokemon that have been with us for the longest journey, Wed Boy and Dragon. So I'm gonna deposit every single item that I don't need, like these Ultra Balls. What does the game think I am? Those Ultra Ball Plebeians that like does it say, oh yeah, it's been 1200 on this Pokeball that has double the rate of capture. Good job, dude. You spent six, uh, you spent like more Poke Dollars than I did. <laughs> Sounds like they don't trust their Pokemon in order to live a hit. It's much more rewarding when you actually try and capture it and it's like, oh hey man, look at this, this took me 80 million Pokeballs to capture. What a challenge it was. Okay, there we go, I think I emptied up my inventory a lot. And it's weird to say it that way too, like... I emptied out my inventory, pretty much. I dumped it all into the into the Imperial City. I mean, uh, Evergrande City. <laughs> Start messing up with, like, different RPG games. The Imperial Windhelm City of Doom. <laughs> just, keep, just keep thinking of different RPG games. Uh, is it a coincidence that it's all Elder Scrolls? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, so the PC box doesn't restore health. Good to know! Okay, so if I really need to, I at least I have an escape rope to get out. Yeah, I want to use this for a while. said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I don't actually remember how to get Moltres in this game. Out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, we got to Moltres. <laughs> it's like little to no time at all. It's like, I don't remember how to get down here. It goes down one ladder. Oh, never mind. Let's save, and let's actually go after it. I just need to make sure that I have Zapdos in the front. I do? Okay. Let's go.
this is going to be different because I know that Moltres won't be able to live through anything. So I'm going to try and see if Joe Pack does it. Ooh, got a crit. 